Hello everybody and welcome in. Before we get started with today's video, I'd like to tell you a story. A story about the day I hit affiliate. It was a dreary night. I was playing FIFA 20 on my Xbox. I had myself on my cell phone. Well, I had my stream on my cell phone. My girlfriend had her my stream on her cell phone, probably ignoring it and watching Netflix. And I had one concurrent viewer always coming back to support a nobody. And shout out to you, Mr. Vandetta. I woke up the next day and I received a lovely email. It stated, you have been invited to the Twitch affiliate program. I was ecstatic. I jumped up. I felt like a king. I thought the whole world was going to change from here. Finally, I'm officially a part of the Twitch community. Everything would change. But that wasn't the reality. No. In fact, the reality was nothing's changed. And it probably stunted my growth. Instead of focusing on building a community and being entertaining and making more than mediocre content even two years later, I accepted that affiliate contract. They would have to sit through one, two, maybe three, nowadays up to seven ads, wasting their time, not knowing if what they clicked on would be worth their while. So today's video is going to be especially for the non-affiliates. If you are an affiliate, it could help you too. And that is a OBS RTMP plugin that will allow you to multi-stream for free. Gone are the days of Restream and Caster and Streamlabs Premium. OBS allows you to multi-stream for free using the RTMP plugin. When we talk about multi-streaming to different platforms such as Facebook, Trovo, Twitch, YouTube, and different platforms of such, we have to take in a few things into consideration. Your network speeds, the resolution you're streaming at, and how many platforms you're streaming at at once. First thing we have to do is test our internet speed. I just Google internet speed test, click on the box that pops up on Google, run speed test. Give it a few seconds, it's going to, well, it's gonna take a while, not a while. Let's give it a few seconds. Okay, now this is the number we have to worry about. We have to worry about our upload speed. So because I'm live streaming right now, uh, we have about eight megabytes to play with. I'm only streaming on YouTube, um, but we want to take this 8.8 .8 number and we want to divide it by how many sources that we are streaming to. So if we want to stream from YouTube onto Facebook, we would take that 8.8 .8 divided by two for a 4.4. .4. I hope, I hope, <laughs> math. So if we take a look at this chart here, which I pulled off of Google just by Googling stream output chart, uh, we have our 4,000 kilobytes at 720p or four megabytes. We're going to subtract like 500 to 1,000 from that 4,000 just to give us a little playroom with the internet and to reduce the chance of lag. Um, so essentially we're left with like 2000 to 1500 to play with. This is how, this is the resolution we want to set our streams up for. And if you have slower or have more internet to play with, you can Google the chart yourself or pause the video here and take a look. Okay. Now that you figured out your internet speed and the resolution that your internet speed can handle, you're going to Google RTMP plugin OBS. It should be, should be, the first um, source on Google. Multiple RTMP outputs plugin 2020-05-17 or whatever time you're watching this, if they do an update, whatever, should be the first result on Google. Just keep an eye out for them pesky scammers. Then you will click Go to download and it'll take you to this page here. Here you will scroll down to assets. I recommend that you in install the installer. Uh, make sure you select your operating system, whether it's Mac OS or Windows. I use Windows and I would recommend getting the installer.exe so you don't have to mess with everything and it makes it pretty easy. But if you want to be a computer whiz, you can get the zip folder. It's at your discretion. 
just get the installer, it's easier. I already have this installed, so let's jump over and take a look at it. Okay, now that there are a million of me and we're inside OBS, it's going, once you install it, if you already had OBS opened, you're gonna have to close it and then reopen it. It might pop up automatically. If it doesn't, go to Docs, go to Multiple Output. We already have some sources set up here. We have YouTube and then um, my third channel, <laughs> second channel, I don't know. Uh, there's too many channels. You're going to click Add New Target. And now you are greeted with this window. You have your RTMP server and your RTMP key. We're going to be using YouTube for this example because I primarily stream on Twitch. Okay, on your YouTube studio page, you're gonna click this button up here called Create. Then you're going to click another button called Go Live. Once you're on the screen, you're gonna see the tab Stream Settings. You are going to see Stream Key, uh, Stream URL, and Backup Server URL. Don't have to really worry about the Backup Server URL too much, um, at least I personally don't. What you're going to want to worry about is your Stream Key and your Stream URL. Now, if we get back into our multiple outputs, you are going to, again, click Add New Target, you're going to name this target, we're going to call it YouTube 2. And then the RTMP server is going to be your stream URL. So you're going to copy that and paste it into this box. And then your RTMP key is going to be your stream key. You're going to copy that and paste it into this box. Usually, no need for a username, no need for a password. And... Uh, just leave everything from get from OBS. That's going to be our next step. And then you're going, if you want, sync start with OBS. That's at your discretion. Don't worry about that. And then you're going to click OK. OK, once you have your stream key and your stream URL set up, you're going to come back into OBS and you're going to open up settings. You're going to go to your output and you're going to make sure that your video bitrate is half or whatever, however many you divided by the number of sources. I'm only using two sources, so I put it down by half. I gave it uh, 2,750, but you also want to leave some room for the network to shift and grow. So if we needed, what was it, uh, 4.8 for two, um, or I'm sorry. So if we needed 4.4, for both sources, I took that down by half again so that I can guarantee that there will be no lag from both ends. And then you want to make sure that your encoder is set to whatever's stronger, whether that's your CPU, which is the 2 times 64 or whatever graphics card you're using. That's a different topic for a different day. You may have to do a little bit more search on that. Then you're going to go to video. I have my base canvas set at 1920 by 1080. That is what is on screen and not being broadcasted. My output scales that down to 1280 by 720, which is what the example was earlier in the video. So the reason you want your scaled output lower is to keep up with your uh, halved internet speeds. Because essentially how live streaming works is your computer's rendering the game and then it's broadcasting that game, which OBS has to render. So you're rendering the game essentially twice and you're using more and more output. The reason we took the speed test and divided it by the number of sources and then did it in half again is to make sure that the connection has room to breathe, has room to fluctuate without causing any major lag issues. Remember, the more sources you stream to, the more stress it puts onto your computer and onto your internet. And yeah, that's pretty much it. It's really simple to do. It's just like setting up OBS, just a minier version of it, if that makes sense. Just a smaller version of it, if that makes sense. Um, after that, you just click go live. And depending on if you hit that sync with OBS button or not, uh, you may have to click start on the RTMP server. And then, and then you're expanding your beautiful, lovely face to more and more people across different platforms, getting yourself out there. And it's just a really great way to grow 
when you are not an affiliate and locked down by a contract. Now, what from what I understand, and I could be wrong, and if I am wrong, leave it down in the comments section. Make fun of me down there. I don't care. <laughs> um, YouTube doesn't have any restrictions on if you multi-stream or not, whereas Twitch does. Twitch, I believe, currently, I could be wrong, uh, depending on the time you watch this video, does restrict you streaming to different competitive platforms like YouTube or like Facebook, but not the smaller platforms like TikTok and Instagram. I could be wrong. You have to check your uh, user agreement or your contracts, your affiliate contract or, you know, whatever. But I believe YouTube allows it. Facebook may allow it or not. I don't stream over there too, ever. And I'm not sure about Trovo. So before you do this, make sure that you Google and research if you are under an affiliate program that they allow you to do this. Other than that, if you're not an affiliate, then have fun putting your face out there. Leave me a comment if you have any questions and uh, make sure to like and subscribe. I'm really trying here. I think at the time of recording, we're like two subscribers away from 100. So help me out, have fun, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.